Aloha, my name is Brady Barrows, and I've written Rosacea 101, which is a comprehensive book about rosacea treatment, the conventional and the alternative treatments for rosacea. Today I want to discuss rosacea and ETS. Uh, ETS usually comes up in any discussion with rosacea because of the second treatment for rosacea, which I mentioned in my, if you watch my video about uh, rosacea treatments, there's five treatments for rosacea. One of them is flushing and trigger avoidance, in particular flushing. Uh, some rosaceans become almost obsessed with uh, stopping flushing. And so they consider this surgery, which is called ETS. Now what is ETS? ETS is endoscopic transthoracal sympathectomy. There's another similar procedure called EUTS, which is endoscopic upper thoracic sympathectomy. Uh, there's now a trademarked uh, procedure called micro ETS, and that's trademarked, and it's a procedure where a physician makes a tiny single incision one twelfth of an inch under each arm. Using microscopic instruments, the physician is able to navigate around the lung to the sympathetic nerve. And micro ETS instantly stops the excessive sweating. Uh, ETS uh, is actually uh, the surgical removal or clamping of the sympathetic nerves that supply the hands, neck, and face, the surgery may decrease facial blushing and flushing. Now, why should we discuss this? Well, I, I write about it in my book in Appendix E on page 171. I go into some details about this and some of the papers that have been written about studies on this procedure. Now, one study said that facial blushing was reduced and the quality of life was substantially improved. The main side effect was redistribution of sweating from the upper to the lower part of the body. That's called compensatory sweating. Increased sweating of the trunk occurred in 83% of those who responded. Overall, 85% of the respondents were satisfied with the result, and 15% were to some degree not satisfied. Overall, uh, the conclusion of this study said 37% of the patients did not respond to the questionnaire. So the results must be viewed with caution. And that's the big thing about ETS. This procedure should be proceeded with caution, and I talk about these warnings and cautions uh, in my book. One of the uh, possible side effects of ETS is corposkindosis, and you need to look this up, and I, I talk about it in my book, but basically that's uh, what's commonly called split body syndrome. What happens is uh, it's a disease some of the symptoms may include a disabling uh, and serious consequences, and ignoring this is something you may regret for the rest of your life if you get this from ETS. Uh, one of the risks associated is emotional and psychological problems. And remember, uh, one of the biggest risks is compensatory sweating. You're going to be sweating more in your lower trunk. Some people are not happy with this procedure. So before you get into this, uh, the other risk is anhydrosis. That's an inability to sweat, which is very dangerous. And uh, sometimes ETS patients report feeling too hot and too cold at the same time. It's, uh, it's something you really need to seriously consider. Is, are the, the, the benefit-risk ratio with any treatment are the benefits really worth the risks? And you have to weigh them out. So I hope this has been helpful if you've been considering ETS. And if you don't know anything about it, you should buy my book and 
find out a whole bunch, 373 pages of information on rosacea. Aloha.